all right all right all right what's up what's good what's going on welcome back to the war zone once again so people the day is almost upon us Errol Spence Jr. versus your Dennis Ugas for a welterweight unification bout uh, which is going to take place tomorrow tomorrow night in Cowboy Stadium Arlington, Texas so I want to talk a little bit about this man I'm going to uh, just give you my views and my predictions on this fight man and uh, we'll move on man and uh see what goes down tomorrow night so as we all know man this is a unification bout in the welterweight division between Errol Spence Jr. and your Dennis Ugas so Errol Spence Jr. is 27 and 0 with 21 knockouts he is currently the IBF and the WBC welterweight champion of the world your Dennis Ugas his record is 27 wins, 4 losses, and 12 KOs. Um, he's coming off a huge, huge victory over uh, Manny Pacquiao, which took place uh, January of last year. Um, he is currently the WBA Welterweight Championship champion of the world. So, um... This right here, this fight's gonna be for three belts, and we all know that there's one one other belt left, and that would be Terrence Crawford, who holds the WBO uh, Welterweight Championship of the world. But, so, what I wanna do is, man, um, I just wanna talk a little bit about um, this fight, man. So, after watching the press conference between these two, man, I noticed that, um, Spence talked about he wants to go for the knockout. Ugas talks about he wants to stand in the pocket. Um, let me just uh, break this down. Okay, so Spence, out of the two fighters, man, Errol Spence Jr. is uh, clearly the stronger fighter. Uh, very technically sound, man. Um, the guy has power. Um, and he throws more volume. Um, Ugas, uh, very uh, fundamentally uh, good, um, great counter, counter puncher. Uh, this guy has heart. Um, so when I look at this matchup, man, um, for some reason, man, it sounds to me like Errol Spence's mindset is that Errol Spence that we knew um, when he was first coming up in the welterweight ranks, man. Um, um, relentless body attack. Um, um, gonna gonna try to take you out of there, man. Um, that's 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 something I haven't heard uh, coming from Errol Spence in in, in a while. So um, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Um, I don't think it's a good idea for Ugas to, to try to stand in the pocket with a, with the Errol Spence, man, with the power that Errol Spence has. Um, I think um, Ugas' best bet is to try to box, and which we all know Errol Spence is a good boxer as well. But uh, like I said, the longer this fight goes on, man, um, the worse I think it's going to be for you, Dennis Ugas. Um, I definitely don't see Earl Spence um, getting um, seriously hurt in this fight. Um, I do think that at some point, Yudanis Ugas is uh, going to be hurt in this fight. And, and that's via body shots. I think the key to this fight, man, is going to be Earl Spence's body work in this fight. Because uh, as I was watching that that um, Pacquiao fight, man, um, actually pa Pacquiao curled Ugas up at some point, man, from a body shot, man. And we're talking the difference between Errol, uh, Errol Spence, Power, and Manny Pacquiao. Um, so I do believe that Errol Spence can um, hurt Udanis Ugas as opposed to Aaron, uh, Ugas being able to hurt 
uh, Errol Spence. Um, I just don't think that um, Ugas has the skills, uh, he has the power to actually uh, win this fight. Um, and like I said, that's going to be the difference. And I believe that Errol Spence Jr. is going to land the um, more effective punches uh, in the power punch department. And I think that uh, that's going to take a toll on Ugas. Um, especially the way that Ugas likes you hold that high guard. Um, that's going to leave his body wide open. Errol Spence is, is uh, that's something you just don't. You don't want to do, man, against Errol Spence. So, I got Errol Spence Jr. winning this fight, man. Um, could possibly be a, a stoppage, man, in the um, latter quarter of this fight. Um, but um, definitely have him winning unanimously on all cards. But um, I think he says he wants to stop him, man. And, and, and I believe that he could get it done, man. And I say between 9 and 12 rounds that Errol Spence can get it done. Um, great fight, though. Like I said, um, Udenis Upas is a uh, bona fide opponent. Um, this guy's been around. Um, uh, he convincingly beat Pacquiao, so... I mean, he's here for a reason, but I just think Errol Smith Jr. is going to be a little bit too much for him, man. Um, I don't think that he just, he doesn't have the power um, to actually um, get this fight done, man. Get this fight, get this win. Therefore, I have Errol Smith Jr. getting a stoppage in this fight uh, between the ninth and the 10th round via TKO referee stoppage um, I just don't think that Ugas is ready for um, the power of uh, Errol Spence Jr. Um, don't get me wrong, Ugas is a dog um, he's been in some dog fights uh, like with Sean Porter but um, like I said man, uh, Sean Porter is not an Errol Spence Jr. But in the same sense, man, um, regardless, Errol Smith Jr. will win this fight, man, and um, and go on to unify. Um, I know all the all the fans, man, want to see that uh, well anticipated matchup between um, Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. I just believe Errol Smith Jr. Uh, will get the job done and. Um, go on to possibly uh, an undisputed showdown against Terrence Crawford. So that's all I really got for you people. Um, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Please hit the bell icon for notifications. Um, if you have, if there are any MMA fans out there, man, um, UFC, uh, sign up for my MMA Fantasy League, which is... Uh, if you look in the description below, you'll see the link at the top of the description. Warzone MMA Fantasy League. That's all I got for you people. Peace and blessings. And I'm out.